Tensions are still running high in Ferguson, Missouri this morning. More than a dozen people were arrested last night during protests over the grand jury decision not to indict the white police officer who killed black teenager Michael Brown in August. There were also demonstrations at malls in Missouri and in cities around the country as protesters disrupted Black Friday shopping. Vladimir Dutier is in Ferguson. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. After several quiet nights, protesters once again took to the streets right out here in front of the Ferguson Police Department. And that followed several successful attempts to shut down stores on the busiest shopping day of the year. No no About 200 chanting protesters demanding justice for Michael Brown marched past surprise shoppers in a St. Louis mall Friday. No no peace. Bishop no Derek Robinson. If justice is not done, we can't shop in peace. If justice is not done, we can't live in peace. So they were out here to disrupt Black Friday. Do you plan on trying to shut malls and stores down? Absolutely. Security had to briefly keep shoppers from entering the mall, but stores never had to close. The protests stretched from coast to coast. In New York, hundreds rallied in Times Square and demonstrated at Macy's flagship store. In Chicago, dozens denounced police brutality. And in Oakland, a handful of activists disrupted commuter train traffic. One town hit hard by Monday's violence was reopened to traffic Friday. Delwood Mayor Reggie Jones says the town needs state and federal aid to rebuild. We had a total of 13 businesses that were burned, another five that were looted. Just to give you an idea of the impact, the amount of businesses burned and destroyed represents over 10 percent of Dale Woods business district. I didn't even get a call from the city. Janice Andrews is among those hoping for help. She lost her life savings when her antique store was burned to the ground. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. So uh, it's bittersweet because my dreams weren't taken away, just these things. So you're not angry? No, not angry. And I will just want to say to the young people that did this, would you please take your hurt and pain and put it in a positive place in memory of Mike Brown? Now, there's been some progress. West Florissant Avenue, the scene of some of the worst hit scenes of violence during Monday night's riots, has reopened, but only during daylight hours. Benita? Vladimir Dutier in Ferguson, Missouri this morning. Thank you.